this is like a little infill to, you know, wet your appetite. I've cocked up the last coat. Then I could bounce off that person. I'll use that. Okay. And I paint up there. You're watching this, um, Eddie, really, really sorry. What's happening on YouTube? It's been a while, isn't it? Um, yeah, basically. I've got this job on, I'm going to be fitting. I'm actually doing a standalone video for that. Um, but that's not going to come out now. Well, it is, but it just won't come out soon because this morning, so I've loaded the van, got it all on the um, on the van, all the bits and bobs, started protecting it, packing it all in like I normally do. Got a few little bits left on the bench there for another job. Um, and brought the panels down. We should have lit the tops, the countertops for each of the three units. And as you can see, I've denibbed them, got them back to a, a flatter finish because I wasn't happy with the finish. Um, ironically, every finish thus far has been great, but I've just been putting an extra coat of paint on it because I've had time. I've cocked up the last coat somehow. I don't know how. Well, I do now because basically this is why I'm coming on. I use a paint called a Renner. Let me get you a tin so you can see the logo because it's a beautiful logo. It's an Italian. I'll use that. Okay. And I paint up there. I'm contained. It's warm. It's dry. And it has some airflow um, and an extractor. However, I noticed this morning I've got these little pinpricks and I'd actually got like a sort of a wit in this panel. It was only a couple of pinpricks. And it actually was only in the corner of there and one of these. It wasn't much on that. I didn't notice that. I wrapped those up in bubble wrap and I threw them on the van. I don't know what I'm showing you. And um, yeah, basically, then I looked at this one. It's the last one I brought down. I just saw this massive, great big sort of like, like, like a ghost. Um, like sort of like something that was gleaming through. I don't know what it was. Um, and uh, the first thing I did. I just rang Tom at Renner, my rep. What a what a diamond. Answered straight away. Hi Matt, how you doing? I haven't spoken to him since Christmas either. Um I don't order nearly enough from them. I don't justify having a rep and he's even told me that, but it always helped you out. What a lovely old boy. And straight away he's just gone, What have you done? Told him. Show me and, and I was honest, I said, look, this time round I've run out of your prime of the six four three and I used Shellac uh, since they've been and he was like you know, he had every, every opportunity to just turn around and go, yeah, that's your problem. But he didn't. He went, no, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Like, you know, he's like, yeah, really sort of like, I would prefer to use our primers, but that shouldn't be the problem. Spoke to him about it. He goes, send me some photos of what you got. So I sent him photos. He said, right, do this. Send me some more photos, then bring me up. So do this was basically sand it, you know, up through the papers, back to 400, um, and uh, yeah, send me some photos. So I sent him photos, rang him again. He was like, it's not as bad as I thought. This is what I think you should do based on the products you've got because I'm actually going away in a couple of days. So I'm not going to have time. He was like, yeah, I think you'll be able to get it done. I was like, I just can't be bothered with the idea of thinking I'm going to get it done. Then having to ring the customer up again and say, look, I'm going to have to put it back to the week after. So I just rang, a bit the bullet and just rang the customer. If you're watching this, um, Eddie, really, really sorry, but I just rang him and just went, I can't, I can't risk it. I, I've got a problem. I'd rather take my time to fix it. Even that, it's still going to, I've only really got today and tomorrow and I've got other jobs I, I really want to get in financially. I've got to try and get some other jobs done. The workshop looks like this because I'm in between so many jobs. I've really, but I've got to just drop everything and just prioritise on this, which is today the day I should be installing and just get this right. But if it weren't for Tom, sometimes you just need to speak to me and that's what this is about. That's what, YouTube is about and having your reps and stuff, that personal contact that I think a lot of one man bands are sometimes missing. Um, I'm missing it a lot. Uh, just that little bit of help, someone to bounce off. If I had someone with me now that knew a little bit about it, or just, you know, a lot, a lot of the people I work with, they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily the best at what they do, but they are some of the most conscientious and they can just go, oh, I think it's this, I think it's, and they're happy to tweak things and get it right. Then I could bounce off that person and we could make it work, but I haven't. But what I have got is the Renner rep on the end of the phone who's willing to look at photos, take time out of his day and go through and try and problem solve with me, almost like his ear. And I just think, yeah, check him out, Renner. I know everyone's got their own brands they like to go with, but paint-wise, this is the first problem I've had. Um, 
possibly I was struggling with the prime when I started. I will be comp I'm completely honest, not biased. I was struggling with the prime when I started. I am actually now going to go back to that primer based on how I found the shell at because it's not quite got the build that I'm used to. Um, and Hydrofugo does have little imperfections in it, although it doesn't fur up as much as the others. So I think, yeah, just going to go with the with that and I'm just going to do everything I can to improve the drying. I'm going to force dry it basically because it does take a bit of time to dry, I think. Um, whereas the Zinsu obviously is half hour. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm getting at. That's what this is about. Not necessarily showing the best bits, but showing in this case, this is the worst thing that's happened to me in a long, long time. But as a massive shout out to Renner, thanks for helping me out. Um, Tom, especially at Renner, it's been amazing. Um, and yeah, this video now of those being installed and the stuff you see on the van, that standalone video is coming out and I'll address where I've been, what I've been doing. As you can see, I'm going away. So it's not going to be for a while now. So you just have to wait. But this is like a little infill. Still, you know, wet your appetite. See you later.